there's a little construction project. We usually don't vlog before we have coffee, but I think our addiction is at a new level. We didn't want to waste this coffee that we buy in Budapest. We don't have a coffee pot here, so we bought some filters. And we are going to attempt to do our very own pour over without any of the pour over tools. I have no idea how much to put. Yeah, that looks look good. A little more. The guy at the coffee shop took really hot water and poured a little bit and stirred it. Don't burn yourself. <gasps> uh oh. <laughs> this is okay. It's fine. Oh, I like it. Oh, this is totally working. It is. And then he stirred it. Don't break the. Yeah. It's a very slow drip coffee. Yep. <laughs> There's a reason why they make coffee pots that hold the bag. Construction's still going, but we got half a cup of coffee. Better than no coffee. It's delicious. Today is our first of three full days here in Ljubljana. We think we're saying that correctly. Today, we're gonna explore as much as we can, hopefully by bike, because tomorrow we're doing another food tour, because we're obsessed with those now. And then the next day, we're gonna take a day trip to Lake Bled. So today's really the only day that we can like see the city on our own. So I tried to sign up for these like city bikes online. You like pay a dollar and then supposedly you can rent them for the week. But I think there's like some card we have to get before we can rent the bike. So we're gonna go try to find that. So when I was researching what to do here last night, I read that this is the greenest city in Europe. Check out all of these recycling bins. Organic waste, residual waste, more residual waste, paper, packaging, glass. We walked by this second hand store I thought I would go in and look for their sweaters since I don't have any warm clothes and it's getting to be colder. And I found this sweater for $6.20. And then I went to pay for it and it was only $2.50. That would explain why there were so many people in there. And now I'm gonna be warm. It must be having some kind of sell. Everything's $2.50. It is, that's what she told us when we left. No, we cannot spend our whole day in a secondhand store. <laughs> I think this is one of the most picturesque cities that we've ever been to. We've been walking around for like 30 minutes and we made it about five feet because I can't put the camera down. It seriously feels like Venice. It's so photogenic. And the craziest part is, it's just a random Wednesday. And we're and like- all this stuff going on. Walking through this market with tons of people. And I got a sweater for 250. And the sun is shining for the first time in like five days. I think that might have a lot to do with it right now. <laughs> This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It is a cow's milk vending machine. You buy a bottle from the vending machine and you take it to the dispenser and you literally dispense cow milk from the farm in Slovenia somewhere. It's like one euro for an entire liter. Apparently vending machines are a thing here. We found some cheese and we think that the joker is yogurt and I really want to try some. Don't get stuck. Awesome! Oh. <laughs> I thought it had already fallen. Oh good, it's cold. I was a little bit worried we were about to get room temperature yogurt, but it's cold. You can get like eight dollars and change out of here. Whoa! It has actual fruit chunks in it. It's so creamy and delicious. This is genius. I love Love Yana. New favorite city? Mm -hmm. 
So tomorrow we're going on a food tour with Laviana uh, Tours. We'll Maybe one day we'll figure try out. Try to, to learn how to say it tomorrow. Laviana Yana. Uh, and I've been talking with the lady who runs the food tours and she gave me two recommendations for today. The first one was to find a blue food truck. The picture on the website has what appears to be mac and cheese with bacon on top. So it is my life goal right now to find this food truck. We're having a hard time. We're on the hunt. I see it. Why are there so many cameras? That tent up there is where you have to buy the food. This is the line. Enjoy the food. Thanks Thank too. you. Thank you. Okay, we finally figured it out. You get one of these cards. This whole area is all one food truck, and each one is just a different dish. So you try them all, and then you rate them. And then any extra money you give them was for charity. So we have seven receipts, and we're going to go try seven dishes. So what I thought was macaroni and cheese with bacon on top is actually a form of gnocchi made with potatoes and pumpkin. It is very delicious. Whatever the sauce is mixed with the potatoey pumpkin-y flavor, it's like very savory. Alright, I'm not a fan of fried bread, so Nate's gonna try this guy. It's a base of fried dough with like some green onions, ham, radish, and some kind of seeds and some white sauce. It kind of tastes like cocktail sauce. The white sauce does. And I only have cocktail sauce with fish, so it reminds me of fish. <laughs> Last course is this beautiful looking salmon. Not the very last course, we still have two desserts. I'm gonna give that to you. Yes. Everything was delicious, especially this chocolate strawberry dessert. And all of that costs only 10 euro, including our donation to charity. Love this place. This is our friend Sam. You might remember him from our Everest trekking vlogs. I'm back. He is the third crazy who jumped into the glacial lake. Also the biggest weenie of the three. That jumped <laughs> hey, I didn't see you guys getting it. That's no, yeah, we definitely That's didn't fair. get him. He's here with some of his mates. Hello. Alex Hi. and Ollie. <laughs> So if the uh, the montage up to the castle wasn't very good, it's because I was talking to Ollie the whole time about all of the time he spent in the Middle East, like Pakistan, and all of the other stands. Stands. I really want to go to the stands. Kara? Kara, we going to the stands? No. Kara's not on board yet. I'm working on talking her into it. I think we're in an old She deserves some ice cream after hiking up to the castle. So at 5 p.m. in this building behind us, we're being told that they're cutting the world's largest saturator cake. I think that's how you say it. It's some Austrian chocolate cake. It's like almost as big as this entire tent. The tent is what's covering the cake. I wonder why. So, might stick around for 15 minutes, see what happens. I think all of these people right here are lined up for cake. 
We're normally all about standing in lines to get good food, but that was a big line. I think the cake being free probably has a lot to do with how long the line was. If I didn't know what they were saying when they were explaining it, we might have stayed, but no clue what's going on. There's a skyscraper nearby that has a restaurant on top that's supposed to be really good for sunset, so that's where we're going now. That building right there is where we're heading. This is the tallest spiral staircase I've ever seen. Kara is somewhere down there. Here we go. Uh -oh. I'm this even now one floor. Oh my gosh. Yes! So I was running down that massive spiral staircase to catch Kara and I fell and maybe kind of broke my elbow. I didn't break my elbow, but it hurt really bad. And I smashed the camera, thought I may have broken it, but I think I actually fixed it. I think the spot may be gone. No spot. I must have hit the camera so hard it like knocked the dust off the sensor or something. What a great night. It is now 7.20, we were looking for dinner. People are still in line to eat the gigantic cake. That is almost two and a half hours later. Are we doing it? Is it Pete. They made such a good decision earlier. I cannot believe we're still getting cake. It is two and a half hours later. That just shows you how big the cake is. Get me too. Oh wow! There's all the pieces they're cutting. That whole table was the cake. The last time I had this, it was not very good. Also, this plate and the fork is made out of wood. Remember how I said this was the greenest city in Europe? Living up to their name. We didn't recycle it. Dang it. I thought we were kicked out of the country. Run! How scary would that be if you were walking right over it? Magic. 